In this devlog, I will cover the changes and improvements made to my indie game Too Far Too Late, the colony games that challenged the player to build and maintain a base in space. Since the last devlog, many changes have been made. The addition of a new level on Mars, with unique textures and different day-night cycle, the implementation of survival mechanics, the ability to define priorities for the colonists, and the collaboration with a sound designer to improve the game's immersion. Before going into technical details about how we implemented sound using F-Mode, I will talk about the new gameplay update that brings Mars as a new level for the game. When I started developing the game, the goal was only to build a base on the moon. However, as the game evolved, I realized that it would be nice to give players the ability to expand their colonies to other planets. That's why I decided to include Mars as a starting location for players. In the late game, players will face the challenge of expanding their colony from the moon to Mars, but this will only be possible once interplanetary travel is implemented. In terms of gameplay, Mars will present different challenges compared to the moon. For example, Mars has a thin atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide, which can be utilized by the player through the use of a greenhouse. On the other hand, the moon is closer to Earth, which will make commerce with Earth easier. However, the moon has a very long day-night cycle of 28 Earth day, which means players cannot rely only on solar energy to survive. Mars has been implemented with new textures for the terrain and rocks of the planet. As development progresses, I plan to include unique resources for each planet, which will motivate players to expand their colony and explore the other planets available. As I mentioned earlier, Mars presents different challenges compared to the Moon, one of which is a shorter day-night cycle. To add more immersion and challenge to the game, I've implemented survival mechanics that requires the colonists to sleep to recover their energy. During the night, the player will have the option to schedule a time for their colonies to sleep, ensuring they are ready for the next day's challenges. As part of the implementation of survival mechanics, characters now have basic needs that must be fulfilled which can affect their behavior. The needs are modular, so new needs can be added to create a more complex survival experience. So far, I've implemented two needs, endurance and sleep. Endurance will affect the colonists' movement, forcing them to walk when they already run too much. To recover their endurance, they will need to take a break, stop for a while, or stand idle, so they recover endurance and can run fast again. The bigger the player will expand their base, the more the colony will be affected, limiting the work time of the colonists. The other need is for sleep. During the day, colonists will accumulate fatigue and need to sleep at night to recover their energy. If the colonists cannot sleep at night, they will accumulate more and more fatigue, which will impact their ability to perform tasks during the day. For now, the impact of the lack of sleep has not been implemented yet, but it's something that I plan to add to complete the survival gameplay. This could include making the colonists feel sick or having a bad morale, which will further affect their ability to perform tasks and their overall well-being. These mechanics will add an extra layer of challenge and realism to the game. To ensure that the colonists are getting enough sleep and resting at the right times, I implemented a schedule system for the whole colony. This schedule will allow the player to specify the hours of the day when the colonists should be working, resting and sleeping. The schedule system implemented in the game is inspired by other popular colony management games like RimWorld and Oxygen Not Included. In these games, players must define which task the colony will prioritize for each hour of the day. I am following a similar concept where the player will be able to define the activities to be performed during the day and night. At night, the player will be able to prioritize sleep, but if a character is too tired during the day, they may take a nap which will impact the work of the colony. So it will be important to reserve sufficient hours of sleep for the colonist and balance it well with work and laser time. The player will not only be able to schedule the sleep of the colony, but also to make their character sleep. During their sleep, the colony will continue to work on their priorities, ensuring maximum efficiency. However, the player must keep in mind that having at least one person awake at all the time is important to be able to alert the other colonists in case of emergencies or to repair faulty devices while the rest of the colony is sleeping. This is especially important in the hostile environment of the Moon and Mars. 
where a simple mistake or omission can have catastrophic consequences. Since the last devlog, a sound designer has joined the team to work on the game's sound. Our aim is to create a more immersive experience with a realistic sound design. To implement sound in the game, we've used F-Mode, a sound processor that can be integrated into Unity. F-Mode allows us to trigger specific sound, create loops, and add effects to enhance the overall experience. With F-Mode, we were able to implement sound modifiers, such as the effect of pressure on sound. When the player is inside a pressurized base, sound are clearer, but when they are outside on the low-pressure atmosphere of Mars, the sounds are deeper and cannot be heard from far away. To implement this effect, we added an effect in the F-Mode mixer, which processes the sound using a low-pass filter. This filter is adjusted in real-time by the game, when the player is in the pressurized room, the filter will not cut any frequency. However, when the player is in the low pressurized environment of Mars or the Moon, the filter will lower the level of higher frequencies to create a deeper sound. This effect is similar to what the first astronaut on Mars might hear due to the planet's low pressure atmosphere. In the game, there are two types of sounds, looping sounds and dynamic sounds. Looping sounds, such as the humming of a transformer or the operating sound of a hydroponic system, are played continuously to create an ambience in the player's base and contribute to the game's atmosphere. On the other hand, dynamic sounds, like footstep, are played only when a character is moving. This creates a more dynamic soundscape, giving the player a sense of movement around them. In Unity, we are able to use the animation of the characters to trigger sound effects at precise moments during the animation. For instance, we use this feature to play footstep sound at the exact moment a character's foot hits the ground. We define the name of a function that will be called each time a foot touches the ground. This function will then trigger the footstep sound that we already configured in F-Mode. This ensures that the sound generated during the character's movements is in sync with their actual movement, making the game more immersive to the player. F-Mode provides the flexibility to mix different sounds with different settings using variables. Variables are like parameters that can be sent to F-Mode and used to modify a sound in real time. This means that different components of a sound can be made louder or quieter, creating a unique final sound. For instance, we can use variables to make the footstep sound more realistic by adding variation based on the material of the floor on which the character is walking. When the characters walk on the surface of Mars, the footstep sound can be adjusted to have a gravelly texture, while walking on a metal platform inside the base will produce a metallic impact sound. Using this feature of F-Mode will not only create a more immersive experience for the player, but also to make the sound design more coherent with the environment of the game. The implementation of sound has also greatly improved the overall experience of the game, bringing it to life with realistic and dynamic audio effects. With F-Mode, we've been able to create a soundscape that varies according to the environment and action of the characters, making the player feel even more immersed in the game. That's it for this video. I've made some nice progress in implementing the basics of survival mechanic in the game and adding new controls for the player to prioritize colony needs. But this is just the beginning. In the next step of development, more survival gameplay mechanic will be added, and that will increase the game's complexity to make it more challenging with the management of the colony's resources, such as food, water, and oxygen. As mentioned in a previous devlog, I'm also planning to add random events that will add unpredictability and difficulty to the game. I will be very excited to share more updates in the next videos, so don't forget to subscribe! Thanks for watching!